Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. How is everybody? I hope everybody is having a great day. And wow, I love this. Finder of lost things. It looks like Einder of lost things. <laughs> Finder of lost things. Joy, success, and gather. I love these colors, this popping, radiant, beautiful, spring, summery, neon. This, this whole color scheme is like so 1980s for me. And yesterday I was looking in some shops and I got so happy because I saw bathing suits and I saw like fun sundresses and I saw oranges and reds and yellows and things that the turquoise and whites and creams, all of these beautiful and wonderful outfits for summer that just got me happy knowing they existed. And that's really the finder of lost things is little fun things that really quench our appetite, little things that it's like we really enjoy, but we put it down for some reason because we thought, oh, I don't have time for that, or oh, I don't have the skill set for that. And we pick it back up and we recognize, oh, this really gave me joy. This really gave me relaxation. This did something for me. And this is also, you're going to find something, that missing lipstick that was your favorite. Um, for a lot of you guys, I see a ring and weirdly enough a pair of like shoes like something got put away in some box closet or item and it's like what is going on and the lipstick thing was funny because for months now i remember i think it was like in february i was like i want to have a treat treat and honestly chanel does fantastic lipsticks this one line it's so there's so much they moisturize the, this color is so fantastic so I'm like that's my big treat so I bought it and then I literally put it in I used it for like a week or two and then I put it away in the bottom of a a summer bag that was hanging on the door and then that bag got in another bag and then got in in a thing and then yesterday I was going through all my stuff and emptying them voila I found it because it's like that thing where it's in your mind like what and, and I was literally mad at Ian too. I was like, he probably just threw it away. He probably vacuumed it up. Like, <laughs> and just finding these little things are so wonderful. Enjoy success and gather is great social energy, getting together with other people, going to events, going to the movies, going to a Ren fair, whatever it is, really harbors these wonderful feelings of joy. And I can go anywhere and I can say yes to life and I can expand and the thing is we always have that lovely safe landing of you know i can go home and rest and and renew and you're deciding to reach more out into the world and have these experiences and let go of woulda shoulda couldas or will i fit in or will i do this i remember the first time that i put together like a gift basket and i hadn't gone to a comedy club in like eons and last year when um, I knew this group of people were coming in. I was like, oh, because I had heard green rooms, everybody talking about all oh, there's, you know, you're in this little space or, and there, th but obviously the one in Stanford is gorgeous, but I didn't know that. So I put together this big basket. And when I walked in, I remember thinking, oh, is everybody going to be like in quiet prep mode? Is everybody, because you know, sometimes when you see roasts, you get a lot of comedians together, they'll start roasting each other. I'm like, oh, people are going to start Roasting New Yorkers have this funny thing with people from Connecticut. They just think they're all um, billionaire investors. It's so funny to walk in with this basket and to just see these smiles and everybody to introduce themselves. That right away switched something on in my brain was like, you can walk into any room and go anywhere and say anything and just be yourself and everything is fine. Everybody is just people. It's just an energy and and bring a good environment with you to lift that environment even more. And I feel like you'll be doing that for people. Just bringing your natural, warm, generous self is going to lift the frequency and people are gonna be really happy to see you. So go to that party, go to that club, go to that place and really see this happen. And this success, I really feel like this finder of lost things has something to do with this. If you put down that pen that you used to write with, if you put down that yarn you used to knit with, if you put down that brush you used to paint with, you're going to find that this is like, it is that thing, it is that special spark that you look forward to 
you know, as much as possible when you can do it and alleviate stress and you're creating and it's rich and it's expansive and you really feel like, aha, this is it. I mean, I definitely have that. I'm so lucky with my readings and my wonderful clients and, uh, and I love to paint and make jewelry and it really is that thing where I am never bored. In fact, a lot of times I'm like, oh, I wish there were more hours in the day so I could so I could do this. And last night, you guys, if you like things that are a little eerie and creepy, I started watching The Servant. It's an Emlon Shyamalan. And usually I was like, eh, but it's so good. I was like, I need something a little, and it's not super spooky and scary, but there's an eeriness and a quality, but it's done so wonderfully. And the actors are spectacular. Um, it's, it's the rock and roller guy, the main guy who is the rock and roller guy. He's a husband. Um, the Ron Weasley, funnily enough from, um, Harry Potter, he's the brother of the main woman. It's just spectacular. I mean, you'd never know like what's around the corner and you're like, it's, it's more like a puzzle that you want to figure out because it just seems so, but it's suspenseful and wonderful. And, um, I, I was up late watching that and I was like, I remembered my, um, my love of kind of suspenseful things and give yourself the, that fun little show, that fun little adventure, that thing where you're like, I'm excited about the day. I'm excited to wake up. Gratitude, huge. I had to even pause this morning before I sprung out of bed. I was like, Hey, what are we grateful for? The fact we have all our limbs and we're breathing and we feel good. And we're excited about making the daily and talking to people and all of this and really getting excited about life. So my beauties, that is what you're meant to hear today. I hope you have a great day. Love and light.